Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Jeep Nation production. It's your boy, Rocky Mr. Magic. A unique TNA, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a brand new show that we're bringing to you all. This is called Trailer Talk. So we, <laughs> I almost forgot what we're going to call this show. <laughs> I, you know, it's, so, it funny. it's so brand new. <laughs> I know. I was like, I'm going to try and help you out. And then I was like, wait, what did we say we were going to call it again? <laughs> we're going to call this Trailer Talk, where we talk about trailers, uh, specifically a movie and game trailers. So we had some trailers drop recently that are fire. We got some films coming up that are fire. So we're going to chop it up. Uh, so to start, you know, February 16th, big day, Black Panther. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now for all y'all out there, um, I uh, it hasn't come yet, but I'm, I'm trying to cop this dashiki uh, <laughs> to wear two... Yeah, I'm, I'm dead serious on this yeah. joint, too. I found this on Etsy, right? Yeah. $77 for this. I'm going to grab my phone. Uh, 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 it is. I'm going to try to cop this. Yo, it's black and gold. Yo, Joy is fire. I'm telling you. Oh, it's just lit, though. It's lit. It, it looks really lit. <laughs> and it comes with the pants, too. Come on. The, the shirt and the pants for $77? That's a steal. That's dope. Come on. And That's they don't dope. charge more for big boy size, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm with it. See, man, we both we've been talking about this movie forever. Yeah, I've been waiting for this one. I don't know. I can't even say how long I've been waiting for this one. It's been a long time. I've it's been waiting for this. <laughs> long. I tell you, I've been waiting for this movie since I was a kid reading Avengers with Black Panther. Um, mm-hmm. I've been waiting since I found out Black Panther was black because I didn't even know he was black um, because I never saw him wear his mask off mm-hmm. uh, for for a long time. I, yeah. uh, most of my Avengers comics were handed down to me from my uncles and all the Avengers. He was just always, the child was always in the mask and they never even ever said his name. Yeah. Um, I'm reading them like, yo, like this, obviously he's black. He's all black. So I'm like, he's black pants. So of course. I didn't think he was actually black until <laughs> I think it was the nineties when I found out like, Whoa, he took his mask off. Oh snap. He's black. Oh snap. <laughs> he a Kang. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, oh, when did I find out? Uh, yeah, it was probably early night, early two thousands maybe, and uh, I think it was around the time when when uh, Miles Morales came out. Okay, and, uh, and then it, you know everybody was like, "Oh, yo, it's the first black superhero." And then they was like, "Nah, you never heard of Black Panther?" And I'm like, "Uh, nope." <laughs> and they were like, "Yo, you got to look into that." Yeah, he's been looking. around yeah. since the sixties. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he's the, he's our OG. <laughs> Yeah, but I wasn't really into comic books. I didn't get into comic books probably to like my sophomore year in high school. Okay. Before that, it was all like you know the uh, what was it the W W B W P I X okay cartoons yeah, and the, yeah yeah yeah, yeah X Men cartoons the, the and all that Prince stuff. Re, the Fresh Prince rerun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was that was my extent of my Marvel career, you know, at the time until probably like my sophomore year, and I met up couple friends and they were like yo you don't read comic books i'm like nah and i was like it, to me i always thought i was like yo i'd rather just watch the cartoon like i was one of those guys oh <laughs> no no <laughs> but then gotta i started read the books gotta stuff. read the books yeah and then they started you know they started getting me the trades and stuff and i was like yo this is kind of dope like this is hot and then i started buying my own and now i don't you know I, stacks. you can't see stacks it, but it stacks it's literally stacks. a stack right here like this right? tall right next to me right here there but, you go uh, <laughs> yeah man so yeah but uh ever since then i've been waiting for something like this i was oh, like yeah. i mean i i did the the closest was like the marvel night series i don't know if you ever saw it not for the night series well we we have to you know we got to give props to the real ogs when it comes to the black superheroes we got to give it up to blade people yeah. forget that blade's a marvel character yeah. and snipes did it out in blade one and two three was whack yeah. but blade one and two are hot <laughs> One and two was dope. And then even before that, Robert Townsend and Meteor Man. True, you know, true. That was, you know, that was a strong black superhero. Um, but this is, this is unique in that I guess it just said it's like more like white folks are acknowledging it. Because Meteor Man had an all black cast pretty much. Yeah. But it was also Robert Townsend produced, like he made the film right. himself pretty much. Yeah. And you had all those blacks. You mean Cosby was in it, Luther Vandross, right. another bad creation, the tiniest yeah. new sister, Don Cheadle. Like so many people were in that. Robert um, 
the, uh, I forget his last name, that played in Benson. He was in that. Um, yeah. Eddie Griffin was in that show. Like, everybody, everybody was in that movie. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, and so he was like that really first one. But this one is like you've got all these big black stars of today right now. You've got Marvel's money behind it. And, yeah, yeah, and it's, and it's in say, Africa. The budget. The budget. The budget, the, the budget is so much better. Yeah. And it's said a, in Africa, it, it's... It's going to be dope. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, it's going to be it's gonna be dope. I, I just can't wait. I can't wait. I'm like, I wish I didn't have to work on Friday. Cause... Yo, me too. <laughs> my, my kids have off. I'm like, yo, how y'all going to get off? <laughs> I want to... And now that my new job is right next to the movie theater, so I'm like, yo, I'm about to leave here and go right to the movie <laughs> Where yeah. you on your lunch? I'm coming. I'm gonna be back from lunch a little bit late, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let an hour and a half late hour. from the from the lunch. Two hour lunch. Let me get a two hour lunch. I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, man. But I'm 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 soup. But uh, yeah. Let's get into the trailer. No let's... doubt. So we got a couple trailers here. Uh, so the first trailer we gonna peek out is uh is Venom. So I've only seen part of this. So okay. uh, we're going we're gonna hop over. Every, you all y'all will all see the trailer, and then we going just gonna give our our thoughts on this here. So, here we go. Look at the booties. See, that Sony could be a good thing or a bad thing. So, when it comes to, to the whole X Men, Marvel, thing. Sony, Spider Man, it's just, uh, it's been then, a disappointment. Yeah. But the new one was good. Maybe that's because they gave up. up a lot of the control to True. Marvel. Okay, Michelle Williams is in strong. Okay. Mm-hmm. An accident. So that must be when the spaceship crashed. The spaceship, okay. Whatever it is, you used to be one thing. Now, you're something else. Hmm. Okay, that looks dope. We all have our own problems. Our own issues. I'm feeling that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Well, I'll, I'll let you take first shot at this. So one of the things that I, because I, I this is my second time watching it, but um, I saw the the whole thing the first time. The one thing that I was disappointed with was they don't really give you any context. Like if you if you don't know anything about Venom, that movie didn't that trailer didn't tell you anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I mean I know it's, it's a teaser trailer, and, and they're probably gonna come out with you know three or four more. But uh, it's just you know if unless you're a Venom or a Spider Man fan or a Marvel fan in general, you're not hyped for this movie right now by watching that trailer. Yeah, but that didn't show much at all. Yeah. Like for us that know, okay, we saw the symbiote and yeah. uh, and the thing, and you know he's laying in there, right. but. It doesn't. Sh- it, it doesn't tell us who Michelle Williams' character is supposed to be, yeah. uh, who the guy in the suit's supposed to be. Um, yeah. Obviously, we see the the crash, you know, the crash ship. Um, right. But I, I mean, I'm guessing this is supposed to be an origin story. I mean, it looks like that, right? Because it's the crash ship. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming that he's in the hospital bed or you know, in the, in that research facility because you know he after the crash and he's recovering. But they don't even tell you that. You don't even know why he's Yeah, we, we don't even know why he's in the hospital, right. Yeah. And, then, and then if this is an origin story, then we're Spider-Man. Right. Well, like, yeah. If this is an origin story, True. Then, then Spider-Man, I mean, we all, unless we're talking about a, a, a retconned origin here, if we're, not, if we're not talking about the bell tower um, and the symbiote going on to Eddie, yeah. Yeah. then what are, what are you showing me here? True. You know? 
But I heard, I heard, um, I forgot what, where I was reading that, but um, Spider-Man is supposed to make an appearance in the movie. Okay. Um, That's all I need. All I need is, yeah. you know, all I need is him, is him fighting and yeah. him be leaving and, and Eddie tied up in, in the bell tower. That's all I need. Right. Yeah. You know, so. in two minutes. That's it. <laughs> Word. You know, like like, like, uh, like the great, yeah. Eddie, like, like yeah. the great Bernie Mac. I just need two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. And I'm out of there. Just open it up with that, and then we we we, we can then take I'm good. it. Then Tom Hardy can, and you know Tom yeah. Hardy looks great. And he he portrays a disturbed person like excellent. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, he did great with Bane in the in the Dark Knight Rises, and uh, I, I mean, I, I don't doubt that he's gonna have a good performance in here. It's just that, like I said, they don't really. I, I know it's a teaser, and that's what it's supposed to do, but they don't True. really do much. Yeah, yeah, they they, they definitely all. tease because it's like yeah. I have a whole bunch of questions after yeah. watching that. Yeah, yeah. You know? like like why was he even running? Like why was yeah, he man. running through the woods? Right. <laughs> why, or why? he or why is he in this motorcycle and like the force <laughs> happens? Like yeah. why are these trucks flipping? Like, like I don't see <laughs> yeah. Luke Skywalker. I don't I don't see nobody doing the force here. I don't see anybody <laughs> telekinetic making these <laughs> trucks going there. Like because if he yeah. don't do that, like okay, what's the deal here? Yeah, or even in the in, in the other one that that little quick shot they show with a, in that office building, and yeah. everybody's like, get blown away. You're like, what's going on? From what? Yeah. What was that about? Whose mind powers are working? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't his powers. The Magneto show up or something? Yeah, like come it. on. <laughs> I, okay. Yeah. Well, so. yeah, they're going they're going to have to review more because tease wise, yeah. that that's not cutting it. Yeah, so we're gonna have to follow this one closely in the next couple months. No doubt. Um, for the next couple, or for the next few trailer talks, and see the developments with the next couple of trailers. Indeed, but, uh, that first one was a little disappointing. Yeah, that that, uh, that wasn't. All right, well, let's see what we got next here. Uh, all right, let me switch it over. Oops. So next, we're gonna do Jessica Jones. Okay. Did you ever watch the first season? I did. Oh, I did. okay. Because I remember um, we were talking and you were like, no. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, because I don't. <laughs> look, Christina Ritter, if you ever happen to listen to us, which I highly doubt you will, but I don't dislike you. I don't think you're a bad actress. I just don't think you were the right cast for this show. That's all. That's I, I don't you're and all and don't deny the chemistry with my culture you have is terrible. Y'all don't look like y'all could ever be a real couple. Um but on that, you're a good actress. Uh David Tennant, you the man, you killed oh, it as Purple man. man. You are the man, David Tennant. Don't let nobody tell you different. <laughs> You killed it as Doctor Who. You killed it in Broad Church, and you killed it as Purple Man. Yeah. Oh, I hope they, if they bring him back, I hope he's actually purple, because mm-hmm. part of my dislike was that he wasn't purple. But I know Hollywood, and you don't pay David Tennant to not show his real face. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. like with Suicide Squad, we talked about Will Smith. You don't pay Will Smith, Will Smith money to not show his face. I'm going to tell you, you were right about that, too. I told you. <laughs> I told you. I told I mean, you. I'm going to put the mask on like 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> I, mean, I told you we were going to get good Will Smith. We were yep. going to get good goatee Mike Lowry, Will Smith. That's what we got. We got Mike Lowry in a DC movie. That's what we got. Yeah, yeah. Liked so, it, liked him, I should say, but you know, <laughs> uh, well, that's, a, that's a talk for another that's a day. talk for another time. So, all right, so <laughs> we, go, we go look at Jessica Jones season two trailer. Third glass tonight, put it on my tab. Drinking to remember or forget. Giving a shit won't get you a better tip. I was feeling sad. I have no idea what Can't help was looking by. <laughs> My whole family was killed in a car accident. Someone did horrific experiments on me. And now this super vigilante shit keeps coming at me. Do you know Captain America? I want to absorb Ailey's investigations. You don't want me, you just want to eliminate the competition. I never take no for an answer. How rapey of you. I like that. Something happened behind these doors. I have 17 years of questions, and they are deep. Just knowing what was done to you might help you. We were made here. Me 
and something else. The only way to find it is to open the door wider. You were brought back from the dead. The powers were a side effect. How many others are there? Like me. Let it go. There is a killer you cannot control. I didn't ask for any of this. Jessica might not want a sidekick, but she needs one. You're not super. You're ticking time off. Keep telling me who I am. How dare you? What if facing it makes me worse? What are you gonna do? I don't know. Depends on if I can get through this night without losing my shit. Jessica Jones! It takes a monster to stop a monster. What did they do to us? Interesting. Okay. Um, so I'll okay. let you I'll let you take the lead on this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, Netflix and Marvel. Well, okay, I'm a little intrigued. Um, because I'm wondering where they're going with the story right now. Um I'm a little disappointed I didn't see Coulter at all because I was really hoping they would continue to develop that relationship. Hmm. But Mm. Uh, like I said before we started their chemistry is horrible so we don't know how negatively that would impact the show but I'm also thinking bigger picture I'm thinking Luke Cage season 2 I'm thinking you know Defender season 2 I'm thinking overall storyline here Mm -hmm. um, overall universe compared to just her show Um, you know her, her her best friend she annoys me the the radio <laughs> like she's cute and all and but like i'm like she's really like you don't she has too many psychics she's yeah. got her she's got the drug dude the you know, the brother with the, the you know recovering drug addict yeah and then she's got her you know um um carrie Ann moss as her you know her legal counsel voice yeah. of reason there like this is too much like give her one sidekick and call today there's too much going on there for me with the two of them. That was, yeah, that was my issue with the first season. It was like, it's like, yo, she she just seemed like like she couldn't do anything for herself. Right. She couldn't make any decisions. She couldn't do anything without consulting somebody or getting. She's, she's like, she's Captain Picard. <laughs> exactly. What, what are we going to do? Let's have a meeting. <laughs> Let's talk to my friends about this because I can't yeah. make a choice for myself. I can't, I can't do anything. And then every time she did make a decision on her own, it was like this rash decision to go out and smash some stuff up. And Right. <laughs> I, I'm just going to go break something. It was either yeah. that or have or have sex with culture. Like, that was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the only thing she could decide uh, on her own. They were going to get coffee. Yes, coffee. Sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> coffee. <laughs> which is, you know, which all, which all the women except for what Colleen have think, had yeah. coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think so. because yeah. Uh, Claire, Claire Jones, Jones, and then um, um, uh, Miss Misty Knight, Misty Knight. So, uh, so then you have Colleen. So those four, they've all had coffee except for Colleen. I think, I think Colleen. Yeah, no, Colleen. She had um. She had tea with uh, with Danny. That's right. You're yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and who knows? And I don't even know where they're going to go with that because yeah. um, I did, they, they can't put Misty Knight and Danny together because those, because Finn Jones, he can't. That doesn't look like a good relationship either yeah, as far as chemistry. I yeah, can't. That, that, was, that was great in the books, but please don't put that on TV. His that acting just, and, oh. and her, I mean, she was great. But his she acting. was fantastic. His, well, not, his acting wasn't terrible. No, it wasn't. The fight choreography was horrific. Yeah. Well, the whole story in general was... Uh, and it, yeah, it was kind of... Uh, blast. Was, uh, like, yeah. you know, there was so much in that origin story that they just kind of like... Eh, Ignored. We're not, not going to tell that. 
We're not going to tell that part. Yeah. No, we're yeah. going to skip over that. We're yeah. just going to have him show up out of nowhere <laughs> and then tell everybody he's the Motor Iron Fist and that he can't lose, but then he gets beat up every episode. Would you? Wow. It made no sense. Said, I'm the Motor Iron Fist. I don't lose. Bad. You got beat up by nobody. <laughs> Like, all right, I, I'm gonna, I gotta stop because I'll keep on going. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We'll so, we'll save that. We'll save that. Yeah, we'll for, save that for something. Uh, yeah, when we feel like bashing something, we'll save that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, this, this looks intriguing, uh, especially at the end the purple haze, the clapping. Um, yeah. that definitely gives me hope to see David Tennant again. Uh, but if I do, we'll probably be near the end, um, uh, yeah. the last episode or two. Um, you think so? You think they're gonna hold off that long? Yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely, I see a lot of flashbacks in this season, more than yeah. last season, uh, the, and all the whole self discovery thing yeah. um, going on there. And then um, she mentioned about f- trying to find out what really happened to her. Yeah. So yeah. apparently, she lost her memory of some of that. I guess. Apparently, or all of it. I or guess all of it. Well, no, but she had those flashbacks. So she did have the flashbacks. That's right. When he was controlling her. So true. I, I, I could see. I can see Tenning time, not present day, but you know, just in the flashbacks of how they met, maybe, okay, um, yeah. and and how he actually got control of her to the point right. where he was, you know, I mean, we know he has some kind of, well, he has his powers, but you know how he actually was able to even navigate that situation or whatever. True. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I I wasn't disappointed with the first season. I actually liked it. It was I better was than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, I was the one that convinced you to watch yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> you're the one that got me to watch it. I mean, I, I, I give it like a C plus. You yeah, know? I mean, it wasn't the best of the Netflix Marvel series. Oh, no. I mean, because that's, um, that's still Daredevil. As, Daredevil. Great, as great as Luke Cage was. Daredevil. Well, I don't know. Punisher's up there, too. You I see, think. Punisher was good, but it was still... I, okay, all right, Netflix, look, I, I like you, okay? I like what you do with Marvel. But everybody doesn't have to hook up. <laughs> like yeah. for real, like everybody yeah, doesn't yeah. have to hook up. So we Punisher did. picking up with uh, what's with Karen. Karen, yeah, Karen. like yeah. I, you know, because because now you're turning all these connecting pieces into connecting hoes. Yeah, now Karen's had Punisher and Matt, and Matt <laughs> and Matt's just bashing everybody. <laughs> between you, Matt and Luke Cage, no. yeah, for, between Matt and Luke Cage, you're just smashing <laughs> everybody. It's like wow, <laughs> I can't wait till them two meet. And like yeah, yeah they you, they sit down and have this conversation. So how oh, you, you had know, coffee with her too? So huh? How you know Claire? <laughs> oh Claire and I. Oh you had coffee with Claire. Oh <laughs> so how you know Misty? Well, me and Misty had coffee. Oh <laughs> oh. How you, know, how you know Jessica? <laughs> Jessica and I had coffee. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, like well, well, we need we need a, a newspaper person. I'll call my friend Karen. How you know Karen? Uh, we had coffee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like that. That's, that's like, right. Come on, man. <laughs> Like come on, that is, that is their conversation. That conversation, and then and wow. then you then Danny comes up to uh Danny who's completely oblivious. Danny comes yeah. up to uh I can see it now. So they're sitting there, they're talking, and uh and Jessica walks out because they're talking about sex, and she's like, I don't want to hear it. Um, and Danny, being completely oblivious, looks at Luke and goes, You know, that Misty Knight's pretty cute, Luke. Uh, do you think she want to have coffee with me? And then they. <laughs> And Luke would be like, what? <laughs> like, like, scratch. Right? <laughs> like, ah! Like, bruh. Like, ah. Uh, like, uh, that would be actually a funny scene to have. Like just a little to be, parody or something. A little parody yeah. just to tease the relationship <laughs> with the comic books. But please, more, please, Narcissus, like, don't do it. Don't do it. We don't want to see it. That, that would, oh, would be fun. Those two would not have good chemistry. But just to tease it, to talk about it, to acknowledge that we know what's in the books, that would be actually kind of fun for the writers to do. Uh, but, I don't know. We'll see, man. I don't we'll, know. We'll they see. weren't miracles before, so. Yeah. And I, I'm, I would hope this, this starts to at least stay on the C-plus level, maybe graduate to a B, uh, depending on how they do it. But uh, that, that's – I'm intrigued. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, I'm I'm gonna watch it. I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna not watch it. Like, I kind of semi boycotted Defenders because I was just like, "What is this?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I, they 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 have built their trust with me between Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Daredevil. And yeah, like, me two. too. But it was just like they, they 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 built it up enough for me to be like, "Okay, you've got my trust." 
and then they gave us Iron Fist, and then yeah. they gave us Defenders, which wasn't as bad as Iron Fist, but it was nothing to write home about either. I I I, I watched like the first. I think I watched maybe the first three episodes, and I was like, what. This isn't what I expected. Like, oh, and it wasn't anything. I, I, I like, I was expected. expecting like an Avengers on the small screen sort of thing because I'm like Marvel, Defenders, they're like you know, this is their yeah. way of being you know, like, all right, we're gonna bring the Avengers to the small screen. You know, we're gonna put the Defenders together. And, you know, and it was none of that. <laughs> we got um, what's her name? Uh, I forget the actress's name. I can see her face. Uh, we got Sigourney Reaver. As the big bad guy, I was like, "What? Yeah. Yeah. Sigourney freaking Weaver is the big bad guy? Are you kidding me?" Over Madame Gao, like, yeah. yo, Madame Gao could freaking she force was. push stuff, <laughs> and like, and, and she's below and Sigourney thing, Reaver. Had so many like, other come good, on, had so many other good villains already yes. established because you got you, you got, got you got Fisk, you got Fisk, Fisk, who's the best villain. Yeah. yeah, you got Purple Man, who's great. Purple Man. Madame Gao's a great villain. Madame Gao. Um. um LA. You got a uh, uh, what's her name from uh, uh, from Luke Cage? Um, oh, see, I didn't like her. Like, I wanted Cottonmouth to stay alive. Killing off Cottonmouth was stupid. That was bad, bad writing. He was so much better than her. But and he's, could, and, he's and he's a big and he's a big time Luke Cage villain. You can't kill him kill off him like off. that. You think he's he's officially gone though? Or they're gonna like? Oh, he's gone. Uh, he's bring gone. him back somehow. He's gone. Unless um, no, no, he's gone. I wish he wasn't. They probably couldn't afford Ali, to be honest, to keep him for more than one season. Yeah, yeah. But it was a shame. Well, I don't know. Netflix got money now. They, they keep money. they keep borrowing money. <laughs> they keep borrowing all. They keep raising all these funds. They keep borrowing wow. dough. Hey, whatever. They they're find making, they're get. making some, but they keep borrowing a lot of dough. True, true, true. But I know it takes money to make Will Smith movies and stuff, but I, that was a. Well, we're not going. Oh, yeah, well, we're not going to go there. We'll say that for. We'll say we'll that, that for another time. For the so, pod. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in, I'll definitely watch this since you got me to watch the first one. I'm definitely going to watch this one to continue on the story arc because I want to. I'm really interested to see how it all intertwines. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just like the way the Marvel movies have. Yeah. These shows intertwining is is key for me. So like so and like so far it's just like Claire has been the only connect. Well, Claire and Karen, Claire and Karen are the yeah the only connection. Yeah, Claire really? and Karen are the connectors, but yeah. I don't think they're going to bring Punisher into Defenders. I I, I don't I don't know. I I don't know. Well, I, I could see it because because like with Karen, and then that's how he gets Matt involved, and then uh you know, and then you know, they kind of bring them all around that way. I could see it that way. But Matt already knows him. I mean, like that. Right, was that's what I'm saying. So, like, so it's like yeah. you don't need an introduction point there. No, that's what I'm saying. So, like, but she, she, you know, she's kind of the only. Well, no, not, not everybody. Wait, but she, but she's never, con- but... she doesn't have a connection with the rest of them. Her connection is, is just to Matt. True. No, Claire, she has a connection to Claire, doesn't she? I can't remember in the Punisher. She, she's connected to somebody. Did Claire? Did Claire fix her up? And I want to watch Daredevil again. Maybe Claire fixed her up too. Claire fixed her up. Claire, I re- Claire yeah, fixed everybody. Claire, she, Claire is all over. I remember she mentioned. Your doctor like, worked everybody. Yeah, I remember in, Port, in, in Punisher, I remember she mentioned, like, I know a good nurse or something like that. And uh, kind of yeah. like when, when um, Claire mentioned to Luke, like, oh, yeah, I know a good lawyer. Yeah. And, you know, it was like, everybody was like, oh, yeah, Daredevil. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, and I, I know a, oh, uh, a drunk private eye. Yeah, I know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looked like, yeah, I know one too. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, man, I, I'm interested to see how everything finally comes around and connects. Because I mean, like everybody's kind of hitting their season twos now, right? Um, you know, and that's hopefully when everybody starts to connect. And you know, because Daredevils already had their season two. Right, so connected the Punisher. Luke Cage is filming its season two. I Luke believe. Cage is filming theirs now, so hopefully that's going to connect some more. We already got the Defenders and connect everybody a little bit. And we don't need an Iron Fist. Season. <laughs> we don't need an Iron we Fist season. We can two. let that go. They need to just—I don't know. Man. Just, just I mean, let that. Just tie retcon that all together. Yeah, we're, <laughs> like, we start over. We made a mistake. Yeah. Oops. This, all right. This, so this, this is the was, real iron. This was, this was the beta test, y'all. We <laughs> was just messing with you. So this is the screen test. We were, this is the test. pilot. 
Yeah, it, we, was, it was just too far. We leaked out too much to screen tests. Sorry, <laughs> you know. But here's the real thing: with yeah. much better fight choreography, much yeah. better acting, much yeah. better story, and actually using the Iron Fist, and actually using and, the Iron Fist, <laughs> and not having getting beat up by scrubs like <laughs> regular people every episode after he declares how he tough he is. Yeah, how he be, he defeated the dragon and all. I be but, like for real. If you be a dragon and some really security guard beats you down, <laughs> bruh, you ain't got it. They, uh, you defeated the immortal dragon, but you can't beat up a couple of. Uh, Regular street hoods, right? A couple of goonies from the SWAT team, like exactly. what? Exactly. Come on, man. Like Colleen got to come and save your butt every time. <laughs> every time. <sighs> but anyway, oh, we can go on forever. Yeah, for, that for one. real. Like, oh, you, so uh, you know, yeah, Jessica right, Jones, so, season two. We'll we'll check it out. We'll, yeah, season we'll, two definitely intriguing. We'll definitely enough. discuss it on the the regular. And we pod. definitely recommend checking out if you haven't watched season one. It's worth the watch. It gets yeah. not the best show in the world. It's not terrible. It's a good Saturday it's, binge, though. Yeah, you got it's, nothing it's, else to do. Yeah, it's, if you got nothing else to do, you want to want check it out. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a good, you know, strong female lead. Just understand, it's not great. Right. Right. Exactly. All right, so what we got next on this, I think, oh, okay, next we're going to check out the Star Wars uh, Han Solo Okay. Movie called Solo, Solo. a <laughs> Star Wars movie. Um, yeah, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you already know. I'm just, everybody should already know by now. Yeah, we know you're a Star Wars guy. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just not sold on the title, like Solo. A Star Wars movie, like story, like really? Yeah, they could have done it with the title. Title that, that, that title, he like says, you clearly didn't think much about this. Like, what we? <laughs> well, I mean, how many people are in a room sitting around? Like, are we gonna name this movie? Well, who's in it? Han Solo. <laughs> Solo. Solo. That sound good to you? Solo. Yeah, that sounds great. That's perfect. Solo. Like, nice. Can, Let's do it. Yeah. Go with that. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm expecting a little bit more creature. I guess the, maybe they don't want to give too much away. I think that's what they wanted to keep the ambiguity of just like, uh, what is it really about? It's um, about Han Solo. I know, but I guess, you know, because everybody's could, already You could have called it like, um, I, mean, he, I mean, he's a scoundrel. You know, he's, he's yeah. a smuggler. You could have called it, you know, um, you know, the, the, you know, the, the first heist. You know the 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 or or, or no you could call it um what is it what did what did you do the the Kessel Run in ten parsecs or whatever mm-hmm. they called it that the Kessel Run a Han Solo story but then Star Wars the Kessel Run but then I I think maybe maybe that's why they did Solo because it's like it's iconic this is Solo this is Han Solo like there's no no but he's not the only see but he's not the only Solo. Because now we got his kid. Like, well, we got Ben, the, but everybody knows. He's not the ben only solo. <laughs> so he ain't solo because there's more than one solo. No, but he's the original solo. Still, though. Ah, I'm, not gonna, I'm not debating this with you. <laughs> Just roll the trailer. <laughs> oh, we going to roll this trailer. <laughs> oh, wait, I <laughs> I've been running scams on the street since I was 10. <laughs> Kicked out of the flight academy for having a mind of my own. I'm gonna be a pilot. Best in the galaxy. Hey, kid. I'm putting together a crew. You in? (laughs) That's yes. I might be the only person. Who knows? What you really are. What's that? Get ready. Thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. I'm in there. Memorial Day. (laughs) Okay. I'm in there. I'm in there. 
Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, well, I'll, I'll let you. You're you're the bigger Star Wars fanboy than I am. I'm a I'm a Trek first guy, so I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you take the honors. <sighs> I appreciate I'm, that. I appreciate. You're welcome. That. You're welcome. It's what I do. <laughs> it's what I do. Yeah, man. I'm excited. I'm. I mean, you know, uh, this is a big year for movies. I got to say that. Oh yeah. yeah. Last year sucked for movie. True and that. I'm a big movie guy. I got stacks and stuff. Oh, you can't see my movie shelf back there, but uh, I got stacks and stacks of Blu-ray. Stacks. <laughs> stacks, on stacks, stacks. stacks on stacks stacks on stacks on stacks stacks uh been blue rain since been blue rain since been blue rain <laughs> for real for real <laughs> but uh if nobody didn't get that that was a, a movie reference <laughs> if y'all didn't get it you ain't no movie buff so you ain't a real movie just buff. let it go just let that. it go <laughs> uh but yeah so um yeah i'm excited i'm i'm the first time i saw it you know I, i've been following this for you know anything Star Wars, I'm on it. But um, I've been following it on Twitter with the little leaks and the you know behind oh, the yeah. scenes photos and all that stuff. And I've just been like, "Give it to me now!" <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm I'm excited. Like you know, it's it's the one thing about the the original Star Wars series was that like there was there's so many stories in there. Oh in yeah, those three movies and like you know just to see that that we're finally exploring them. I'm not, you know, the whole Disney thing. Uh, well, I, mean, I have my opinions about it. But I mean, um, we also had so many great stories in the books that it's like. Right, right, right. Oh, well, I don't even want to get into that. Oh, well, because well, people, is, are so, you know, people are so uh, tied to that. They, they enjoy yeah, it so much. Well, yeah, I mean. Now, if you change it on them, you know, you've got, you've got grumpy fans. Well, yeah, because, I mean, you talk about you just Disney just came in and basically wiped out like, 20, 30 years of history. Word like, like, like uh, hey, yeah. this whole creative universe oh, this worked all this doesn't time. matter. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> like, hey, we're Disney. We yeah. say it don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do about it. You know, and, we, uh, we pay George billions of dollars <laughs> for the right. So hey, we can do what we want to do. And I, that hurts. That does hurt. As Mickey a, Mouse as is a, smiling. Smile, Mickey <laughs> Mouse. As a dedicated Star Wars fan, that hurts. You know. Oh yeah. Um, I, because I, I love those stories, man. Uh, they weren't all great. I'll give you that. No, there was yeah. some. I mean, but when you have that vast a library, you're not gonna get all gems. You know, you're not gonna get no. a ton of, of, of stuff. You know, you got hundreds of different writers and all that. But um, in theories and, and you know, some oh, of yeah. it was theories and just people just taking on their own spin on things. Especially once Lucas just said, like, you guys do what you want. I'm yeah, good. like he put it in, like, okay, <laughs> yeah. hey. Yeah. Don't you want, yeah. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm off. I'm done. You want the you want to take the story wherever you want to take it. Take it. So, um, but I am, I am excited to see where Disney's going with with all of this. Um, you know, kind of backtracking into those stories and prequels and, um, you know, going down different avenues and and different stories and stuff like that. And the one thing we can say from Marvel is that Disney knows how to put together. Um, string together stories and movies, obviously, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Obviously, yeah. Marvel had a big part in that, but yeah, you know, they are still owned by Disney, so same similar, you know, in that aspect. Well, um, I'll, I'll say this: Disney owning three, four large major brands, franchises, yeah, owning Marvel, owning Star Wars, owning ABC, yeah. and owning. ESPN, one thing you can tie into those is great storytelling. Yeah. You look at yeah. the ABC shows, you think of the Shonda Land shows on ABC. Right. You think of, you know, the storytelling on Blackish. You think of the ESPN 30 for 30s. Yeah. You think of, obviously, then what we've got with the Marvel Cinematic and Netflix series and obviously yeah. currently with Star Wars. Yeah. There has been excellent storytelling coming out of Disney since the 30s. Like, that's what yeah. they do. That's what they, they do. tell great stories so i look at this trailer and i'm like okay i look at this dude and i feel bad for him because i look at him and of course i don't see harrison uh -huh. ford no and that's not his fault no because nobody's harrison ford <laughs> right you know harrison yeah. ford is one of those once of a lifetime once of a one of a kind dudes yeah um so i feel bad because i'm like he's got a tough 
You have a t- you got big tough, shoes to tough. fill. You've yeah. got to be this cocky, roguish dude, and gotta be smooth on the yeah. same time, yeah. and also be funny. You gotta be Harrison Ford. And, and you gotta be Harrison <laughs> Ford. And, and yeah. Not if you everybody can pull that off. Nah. Um. But you know, my you, man, Donald Glover. You see, he, he, <laughs> you know, I, 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 because I don't talk a lot about Donald Glover, and people think I don't like him because that's not true. I like Donald Glover. I think he's, even though I'm not huge on his, like, you know, I'm not big into his music. Um, I think he's an extremely talented brother. The fact that he can, he can make music. The fact that he can act. The fact that you know, Atlanta is 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 great. Um, he's he's a multi talented brother. Like this dude is voice of Spider Man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Spider Man. Like we we people. If you're not already, Donald Trump deserves your props, Mr. Trial Trump. Donald Glover, <laughs> <laughs> Donald Glover deserves your props as far as being a extremely talented, multifaceted throwback style actor. This dude can do it all. Yeah. He's like the HBK of of the actors right now. This dude can do everything. Yeah. And he still looks young. He's like his early thirties, but he still looks young. Like this yeah. dude could do it all. Yeah. So I, I'm glad to see him. My concern is they're gonna pigeonhole him the way they pigeonholed Billy D into a very regulated role where in this story, this story should be solo meets Chewy, links up with Chewy, and his friendship with and with his friendship with, uh, with Lando. Yeah. And that, that should be what it's about. It should be about him and Lando, you know, pulling heist together with Chewie, you know, as as kind of like their as their background. Yeah. And eventually in the the final scene of the film really should be this card game where he wins yeah. the the Millennium Falcon <laughs> from Lando. And that's how it should end. Because honestly him he shouldn't be barely flying the thing, or if he's fine, he should be because Lando is hurt. Or he like right. Lando should not be sitting second fiddle in his own <laughs> ship. Yeah, like, yeah, come yeah. on, that's his ship. Yeah, Unless yeah. you're starting off with him losing it to Solo, I would think it would be better to end it that way. But if you start off with him losing the ship, okay, I can understand that. But it, it doesn't. It, it's it got to be one or the other. Yeah, it's got to be one or the other. And it doesn't appear from this trailer that it's that way. Nah, so, it looks like that it's, shit looks brand freaking new. Yeah, and, so, we, we, and it's supposed to be the fastest. And, and what in fifteen years it's supposed to be the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. <laughs> so I'm a little concerned as far as well, you know what was really going on here. Who owns the ship? Um, and you know Woody Harrelson. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's 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 some people who I don't mind seeing every once in a while in cameos, um, in small roles. And Woody's one of those dudes. Yeah, yeah, he can do every. He's he another one. He can do he, everything. He can do everything. But I tell you, who somebody I like to see, but I'm kind of getting tired of seeing everywhere, is Amelia Clark. Mm. Like I love her in Game of Thrones, and I think she's a a, a better actress than what she's given credit for. Not just like a girl. I just saw you in Terminator. <laughs> yeah. And now you're in now you're in Star Wars too. Like, and I want everybody well, wants to be in Star it's Wars. It's been a while though. I mean, but, Terminator was what? How many years? It was ago? that long ago? It was a few years though. Yeah, but she she keeps popping up. And there's one thing like, I mean, it's I been know. at least what three years? I don't know. It was it was so bad. I tried to block it out. We weren't in our house yet, so it had to be at least three years. I'm in my house for three years now, so maybe it was just so bad. I keep thinking it was like. <laughs> <laughs> like my my thing is like I, I like her a lot, but stick like to me like what well, I don't know. I'm not saying that she shouldn't take roles, but like there's only so many iconic franchises you can throw your face into. Yeah, but I mean so, that's kind of the way Hollywood goes, right? It goes in these waves of who's the next big star, and they and they're they ride that wave for however long it, they can, and then. You know, the next new fresh face comes along and kicks them out, and you know. I guess, like, I, I just, I would, I can imagine Sigourney Weaver showing up in Star Trek. Like, <laughs> she, she's, a, she's an alien. Aliens, that's, that's what she. That's yeah. her franchise. You know, like, I, I couldn't, I can't imagine. Um, even though, like George, George Takai is a, a Star Wars fan, I can't imagine him in Star Wars. He's a Star Trek guy. 
Yeah. You know, like there's certain like things like it's okay. Like, you know, I've got my big thing. I'm doing roles here and there, but like, you know, Maybe, I don't know, man. I don't maybe know. leave some of the other big franchises alone. Like you don't have to have everything. I mean, that's that's a Star Wars thing too, and just in general, especially now, is with like the fans. Just you know, like uh, True. who was it recently? They played stormtroopers because they just wanted to be in the film. Yeah, Simon oh. Peg, Simon Peg played a stormtrooper. Right. I think didn't um, <clears throat> the Daniel Craig play a stormtrooper? Yep. And one, because yep. he wanted to be in it. And, yeah. I, and, I, and I get it, because, like, even with Star Trek, <laughs> you know, because I was shocked to see Tyler Perry in Star yeah, Trek. Yeah, Star Trek is another one. You know, yeah, Jennifer Morrison played Kirk's mom, and yeah. um, and when Winona Ryder playing Spock's mom, he had yeah. all these stars showing up at nowhere. I'm like... And I think ah. it's because, you know... That, like, I mean, they're, they're iconic. They're, like, yeah. they're two I mean, iconic franchises. From... And, early early days you know this oh yeah like, i mean we're talking the 60s, 60s with star trek and the know. late 70s with star wars yeah so you know you know a lot of us grew, we grew up on these things so i understand yeah. like i mean i think about in this the shows you think of the star trek shows like who hasn't been true star yeah. trek? the rock was yeah. in star trek <laughs> yeah. you know um in the voyager and the dude that played George Costanza, I remember he was in one episode, and like people love doing Star Trek. And Kelsey Grammer was in Star Trek. Yep. Yep. Christopher Lloyd played the Klingon, and mm-hmm. you know, yeah, everybody. So. I, I, I could, if it was like a show, I can understand that more compared to the film series, which to me carries a little bit more weight. It's one thing when you have a one-off on a show, mm. you know, but I, that's another difference between. Star Trek as a franchise to Star Wars, but I mean, yeah. I, but I mean, I'm not saying she's gonna she did a bad job. I'm sure she's gonna do an excellent job. It's just like nah. Amelia Clark. I'm seeing you kind of everywhere, like, and I don't, I don't and, I don't, and I, don't, I don't, I don't want to be burnt out on on her. You know what I'm saying? True, true. Like but as I much think, as like we I think she's Black trying to avoid here. that um that typecast too, because it's like. Yeah, she doesn't want to be she Khaleesi still, at the time. She is still even with all the shows that she's, she's still Khaleesi. Movies, she's yeah, done, she's still Khaleesi. Until next year, when the final season comes, and even then, it's gonna even be hard that, to get out of that. She, she'll never escape it. Yeah, you know. But so. I, I'm, but it's kind of like I feel that way about like Michael B. Jordan. Like as much as I love him, yeah. like, brother, I'm seeing you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everywhere. I turn my head. There's Michael B. Jordan. I'm like, bruh, Creed. Um, you know, Black Panther. Panther um, Fruitvale Station. Fruitvale Station, a fantastic four. Fantastic four. You know, Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights. The Chronicle. Wire. Chronicle. Like, brother, I love you, dog, but you are everywhere. Yeah, well, well I mean, The Wire, though, that wasn't. In... Oh, yeah, The Wire was a long time so long ago. ago. He was a kid, but. Yeah. You know, he's been everywhere. And the same thing with Zoe Saldana. She's like, she's the, the, the go to. I'm surprised she's not in Black Panther, to be honest. You know? I actually was surprised, too, yeah. I thought she would have been You know, in. I thought they would have put her in it because they have her in, like, everything else. You know, but she, I guess not because, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she'll make a cameo we don't know about yet. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, because she, I mean, she was, uh, you know, she did the, the Star Trek. She did Columbiana. And yeah. it was like every time I turn around, you know, it's always in a new – you know, you guess who, you know, like she was in, she's in something else. And that's that she's bad, but it's like, I could tell you, know, she was the it girl, the it black girl at the time. Yeah. Like Michael Jordan, B. Jordan's the it black dude at the time right now. Yeah. He's, he's in yeah. everything. Yeah, it's like, it's like, just like when Don Cheeto was that guy. You know, he was yeah. that guy for a while. He was, he was the guy, yeah, but he was like the guest in, like, in everything. Like, yo, know, guest episode. Here's going to have a guest star. Oh, there's Don Cheeto, I bet. Yep, there he is. Like, yeah, God. but he was that guy. He was he was in every movie. He was in Iron Man. He was in um what was that movie? Swordfish. He um, Swordfish. <laughs> he was in he was in all the oceans. The oceans, yeah. He was in he was, um. They uh, was a very small regulated role. Yeah, but then he had some big roles too. He had that uh, what was that movie? He that did? movie where he where he was a spy. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to watch that. I felt bad I didn't support him in watching that one. So I, really I watched it. it. I actually have it. I, I watched think. it. I got it on DVD. I forget, I forget what it's called. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now either. And Don but, uh, Cheeto, if you ever listen to it, I love you, brother. I do. <laughs> you, are, you are one of my favorite actors. That's my man. You are one of the most underappreciated, highly <laughs> talented actors. Like, his role in Boogie Nights, man, yeah. like, forget how good he was in that movie. People forget he was in the movie. Like, you know, he can do it. 
that's his other brother that can do it all, man. He can he can so, do anything. Speaking so talented. Of him, speaking of Don Cheeto. Okay. Uh War Machine. Let's War Machine. Go to, uh, the Avengers. Oh, trailer. okay, okay. That's right. We do have, <laughs> nice little segue we do, right we there. We do have the Infinity War trailer. Okay. Let me let me <laughs> let me let me cue that drone up. Because that's that's the one I have I have seen. Um, I think everybody's seen this trailer like six thousand times. But do you want to be honest? Um, I think I geeked out so much that it was out that I like missed stuff. Oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. We got one more before Infinity War. I'm sorry. I sorry to mess up your you know, your, your segue. segue. Your you segue. My segue. I'm gonna mess up your segue. That's my <laughs> bad. But uh, we got one more from from our boy, someone we mutually love, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's new Jones skyscraper. Oh yeah, I forgot we about that. Go check this out. No, I won't back down. Not many people know what they would die for. No, I won't. Daddy's gonna go make that bacon. No, 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 no. Daddy! You can My family is trapped 240 floors in the air. This isn't going to end the way you want it to. Okay. All right. Um, so I didn't see that one. I saw oh. the, uh, I guess the extended one, the Super Bowl spot. Okay. Um, wow. Well, I, I was tempted to go real hood right there, but I controlled my tongue. <laughs> um, I was about to drop a whole bunch of N words through that. <laughs> like really? Um, well, I have to. Uh, okay, where do I start here? Um, Dwayne, you, you my man's in them. I love you, dog. Um, <laughs> You know, you got to come back to the Valley. The Valley misses you. You always shout out Bethlehem. Bethlehem loves you. Um, I'm going to say this, though. Keep getting them <laughs> checks, bro. Keep getting <laughs> them checks. Keep getting them. Because, like, you know, I love you, dog, but you really starting to turn into this generation Samuel L. Jackson. It's like, you ain't turning down no movies. Keep getting them Checks, <laughs> yo. Okay, I'm gonna sum up this movie. This is die taller, die higher, <laughs> die blacker, die Samoaner. <laughs> and that's that's what this and die was less one less legger. Like, bruh, this is die hard. This, <laughs> this is blacker, taller version of die hard. That's what this is. Like, I. I not that these action movies aren't entertaining, because I'm sure it'll be entertaining, because Dwayne's entertaining. Um, but w- I've seen this before. I-, I-, I saw Chain Tatum do Die Hard in the White House. And then I saw <laughs> Gerald Butler do Die Hard in the White House, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I swear. Like, like, I'm like, why am I watching the same movie <laughs> over again with just another white dude? Uh, man, I remember <laughs> telling my boy that. I was like, didn't we just see this, like, Two months ago, like <laughs> same freaking. I swear it was the same movie. I was like, we were we were literally sitting in the movie theater. I was like, yo, oh, come on, I've seen I, this movie before. Two two movies, <laughs> two two brunette white dudes getting this black president out. Like if it wasn't and for the fact that Morgan Freeman, so the president yeah. for both. No, no, no. Jamie Foxx was the president of the other one. Oh, yeah, Jamie Foxx. It wasn't president. for the fact that Morgan Freeman is so much older than Jamie, you'd be like, I'm watching the same freaking movie right now. I swear. Like, really? This is, like, this is insane. Every, like, it was like the director had the same shots every, every Same cuts. The bunker shots. scenes. The, oh, my God. Um, yo, did y'all recycle the set? Like, <laughs> it was just the problem, like, they probably shot them both at the same like, time. This, this, you know what? This set looks good. Let's, let's just... um just. Paint, spray paint that black instead of green, and we'll right. be good. We got this. And, and you guys, you, I know you just filmed that part. We're gonna have you do the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this is for a different movie, but you're gonna do the exact same thing. Like, okay. Bruh, come you're gonna on. dive and roll the same exact, <laughs> exact way. Give way. me all right, all right, and action. <laughs> 
Like, oh my god. <laughs> I, I, like, you know what? Actually, you don't even need to do it again. We'll just CGI it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Right? We got it. We'll just CGI, uh, you know, the Channing Tatum face on there. We, we, we right. Yeah, we yeah, let me do the actors. Let me see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we put Draw Brothers face on there too, right? Yeah, Let's yeah, do yeah. that. Can we? Yeah, can we do? Can we do both? Can we do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Why all right. not? Maybe you know, maybe this uh, a face change. The more yeah, yeah. worse. They can yeah, change yeah, yeah. the face. Face off. Face off. Exactly. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Right. Oh, and I have to give a, an applause. <laughs> clap, clap, clap to uh, Nev Campbell. Girl, I have not seen you since Scream. Wow. Welcome back. Welcome yeah, back. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> Nev, it's been a long time, darling. You're still beautiful. I haven't seen you on the screen in a long time. Yeah. I, I have to admit, I done forgot you acted um, <laughs> just on the real. I haven't. I mean, when's the last time you seen Nev Campbell in the movie? I think you're right. I think it was Scream. Crazy. Scream 2 was the last time I saw her. Yeah. Uh, it's been a minute. It's so a I'm glad she has got she got herself a job this, you know, in the new millennium. Um, but and playing The Rock's wife, I'm actually, I'm kind of surprised. It's not, um, what's her name? Carla something Italian. Um, I can see the last name in my head, but I can't pronounce it. Um, so in the comments, y'all, please Please help me pronounce her last name. But you know who I'm talking about. She was she was with him in the Race to Witch Mountain. Uh, uh, she yeah, played yeah. his she played his wife or uh, girlfriend in another film too. Like she stayed playing his love interest. Um, so I was kind of surprised it wasn't her. Can't remember uh, my name either. I know I know what I know what it is. Like I can see the spelling in my head. I just can't pronounce it. And I don't <laughs> want to disrespect my yeah. any Italian fans we have by butchering this poor woman's name. Um, I'm gonna look it up. It's it's Carlos. It's like G I, no G U. Oh, Gugino, something like that. Mm. She was in Spy Kids. Yeah, um, I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She always plays. Yeah. Spy. She's played Spy Play yeah. twice. Yeah. Um, I was kind of surprised it wasn't her because they have they do have great on screen chemistry. I mean, they they do work well together. Um. So, but uh, I mean, yeah. this this looks like it may be interesting. Uh, it, it, it's it's Die Hard. Yeah. With a, with, a, with a bigger balder dude. I think I'm, for me, I think it's a it's a movie I probably I probably see on like a off day. Maybe catch the matinee. It's not something. Yeah, I'm Dwayne, go. Dwayne, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you right now. If I pay, actually, I'm not. I'm, actually, no, I'm gonna rephrase that. I love you, and I've gone to see a lot of your films. I paid to see Walking Tall. I paid to see um, the drone you did with Stifler, um, Rundown. I paid to see a lot of your movies, brother. I paid to see The Mummy Returns, and you were in that for a whole 35 seconds. <laughs> um, but I, I doubt I would pay to see this. If I see the theaters because I got, you know, every time my birthday comes around, I get a gift card from my parents' uh -huh. AMC. So they paid for the trip to see the movie if I decide. <laughs> you know. uh, I, 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 I just, I've seen this rehashed. So many times, like I think I, I just I'll probably see it just because I got I, like I'm the type I gotta see every I'm a movie guy I gotta see every movie yeah I just so. yeah but see you know I mean I'm a movie guy too but you know I'm on a tighter budget than you are uh, <laughs> that's true too that's true but, but I, I, um, I I just I can't I can't see myself really enjoying like I can see myself enjoying it but not being like. I paid money to go to the theater and I bought some overpriced popcorn and overpriced drink worthy of seeing this movie. It's like, the experience. Pay for the me, experience. To me, but <laughs> I want to support Dwayne and you know, but it's also like, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, how, it's, much, it's, how much support am I giving you if I get this red box? Like, right, right. It's, you know? it's me too, but I, I think for me, I, I, I sat out on Jumanji. And I think that's the other issue too. Is yeah, I skipped Jumanji too, because that's like that's a little remake. Like, yeah. bro, I, I, I'm sorry, I love you, but you can't replace Robin anything Robin Williams touch. Nah, nah, you can't nah. replace it. Like, don't even, don't don't anybody don't look at anything that Robin Williams did. It's done. You're yeah. not gonna. You can't redo greatness. You yeah. can't redo something that he touched. Uh, you can't redo. Don't try Patch Adams. Don't redo more Mork and Mindy. <laughs> don't do no Flubber. Um, Flubber. Don't um, you know um what was the one toys? Toys, leave that alone, leave Jack alone, leave Bicentennial Man alone. Um there, there's something else I'm missing. Oh Aladdin. this is Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, like come on, like leave 
what Robin Williams did. Oh, and my favorite, Dead Poet Society. Leave that alone. Y'all trying to redo Dead Poet Society? I'm going to burn <laughs> Hollywood down. <laughs> like, yo, don't mess with Dead Poet Society. Yeah. That was one of the best performances I've ever seen of any actor. Like, mm-hmm. leave Robin Williams and stuff alone. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can remake some of his other stuff that was whack. Okay, fine. Robin Williams, his roles, he's yeah, and then Kevin Hart too. Like, like, like. Well, I'm just. I'm, t- seeing, I'm, I'm seeing Kevin I'm everywhere Kevin too. Hart. I'm I'm tired of seeing Kevin everywhere. You know, what? I, I'm sick of seeing him because he has no depth. It's the same. No, he's he's even doing the same. Every yeah, every movie's but, the same character. Um, yeah, but I mean, we going all the way back to Soul Plane. He's been the same character. <laughs> Yo, I forgot he was in Soul Plane. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I forget he was the main I character <laughs> because I didn't like him back then. Like I, told you, I watched Soul Plane for you know. Let me put it this way: I watched Soul Plane more for Snoop and Monique mm. and the other people. Well, I think we all did. We all were, were like because we he was a nobody really yeah, back then. Nobody then, but um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, just like he's just always been that short guy getting pushed around, and, and you know, he was at the time it was funny, but it's getting old now. Well, it's, 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 it's the same. It's the same. And then you know, same stick over and over and over. Yeah, and over yeah, and over. yeah. But that's yeah. what the whole the one he did with Dwayne, the the whatever. Oh uh, yeah, you know, the the, the uh, intelligence. Yeah, which was basically the his um his uh, ride along remake. Yeah, <laughs> that was another one. That was a... <laughs> the fact that they had two of those movies. Who decided? To... I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to start. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get this. We're gonna we're gonna get, this, we're gonna get, this, we're gonna get uh... this Infinity War trailer because I'm about to go off on a tangent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just jump my, to this. I'm gonna stop myself right now. Here we go. <laughs> Avengers: Infinity War. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people. Fresh off of Ragnarok. To see if we could become <laughs> something more. Vision got skin. So when they needed Bye. us, we could fight the battles. That they never could. like to lose to feel so desperately that you're right yet to fail all the same dread it run from it destiny still arrives evacuate the city Engage all defenses and get this man a shield. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this (laughs) does put a smile on my face. going on there too much <laughs> too, too much. much too much uh, well, i can't say that because i can't okay i can't we, say too we've much. had the tie-ins for all so i, I can't say yeah, too much. Yeah, yeah i can't all right i can't say it's too much but there is a ton a ton in that trailer well I, i'll tell you this the music in the beginning was very somber yeah um and i, I mean we we all know you know chris evans uh his contract's you know, uh, runs out, I think, after one more movie. Um, 
Sales does. Uh, Chris Hemsworth. Uh, I, I think already. I think Robert Downey Jr. does too. Either with mm. this one or one more. Um, so obviously, people are speculating that somebody's going to die. Well, they're saying after this one, they're going. Uh, they it's um because uh, this is what phase three we're on now. Marvel yeah. phase three. Yeah. So they they mentioned. I think it was last. Year, Last year, I think they said after Infinity War, doing a total Marvel reboot with new characters and you know some unexpected changes. So, well, my thing is, <clears throat> I don't know how many of these are going to stick around. Yeah, you know, the thing is, like, again, yeah, my thing is, is it also is the Captain Marvel be part of this or is that yeah. part of the reboot? Right. Like, like, where does that fit in? Um, I think it's got to be some kind of segue from here to to Captain Marvel into you know the basically the new avengers um you know yeah, yeah and where are you tying them out how are we gonna get new avengers like comic new avengers like we're bringing in luke cage you know we're we're bringing in wolverine we're bringing in you know spider-man more prominent role like you know where where are we headed with this i don't know if you because the thing with wolverine spider-man there's the sony deal well, um, well, the, well the, and the Fox deal is not a done deal. And the Fox deal is not done yet. Yeah. So, um, you know, if the Fox deal goes through, then that can happen. That could happen. Um, it, well, if it's, you know, fully, once it's well, fully thing is, complete. To me, if the Fox deal goes through, did I say scrap? Did I say, I say, I say scrap phase four? And I say beg and plead for, even though people are not that people though, but the, that the actors are probably getting a little tired of playing these roles. Yeah. Like Helmsworth and Evans and, and Downey Jr. Well, Downey Jr. said he'll play it. He said he'll play Iron Man until he's dead. Okay. Well then, <laughs> then, then Evans and Hemsworth, because Hemsworth said he's not going back unless he's like a really great script. Yeah. But you did. So then you, you put in Infinity War. Instead of doing a reboot, you segue into, um, so that you end Infinity War by having, um, whatever the whatever the Avengers movie after this is supposed to be, which I, I forget. I don't even think they titled it yet. I don't think um, so either. So whatever that Avengers movie is, um, you end it by like with like um, kind of like a WWE save at the end, or like you, you a run in where like um, like Wolverine of nowhere and 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 ISIS somebody um, <laughs> or you know, or Xavier rolls up or whatever. Like you, 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 you bring the X-Men in at the end, <sighs> at the end. And then what you do is you set the table for, for Avengers versus X-Men. And a better Fantastic Four. And a better Fantastic Four. That way. And then you can bring Galactus yeah. and Silver so Surfer back. Mm-hmm. And you've got better technology now. You're going to get some better actors. Mm-hmm. It's going to look better. You can recast your X Men. Yeah, that and thing. actually cast them better than than Fox ever could. Yeah. Um, and you've got and everyone loves Civil War because you know, it was a good movie, but also you know the hero versus hero fighting was intriguing. Yeah. But that's something you don't see often. Yeah. And you bring in these, you bring in the X Men, and you reintroduce them. You get some better casting. You start to tell, you start to to show the tension between the two the two yeah. major teams, the and then the the heroes, right? And then you 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 have a film where an X Men alone film where where Jean where Jean dies. You know, you tell you can tell the Phoenix story in one movie. We mm-hmm. tell the Phoenix story, but do it right. But also have an Avenger there to. Um, to like like Beast, yeah. you bring him in. You have Beast become an Avenger because that's what happens in the books. Mm-hmm. He toes the line between both. You have Gene die in the you in, in the in the Phoenix saga, but the Avengers do nothing except for Beast, and they the Avenger and the X Men feel slighted. Like, hey, why don't you care about us? We've helped y'all. Y'all never reciprocate. Screw y'all. They bring in hope. And then and also we've got cable. So cable you have the Jamie. cable movie. Cable yeah, yeah, cable movie. cable bring <clears throat> cable brings in hope. Mm-hmm. And then uh, then well, then you got obviously you got the Scarlet Witch, she can say no more mutants. Boom. That way so many people can take a break for a film. Mm-hmm. You got A versus X. 
and you can have yourself a really cool one or two films out of that that would just look and play out fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Especially, I really want to see. I want and, and then especially cuz we especially cuz you know, I would love to see I don't know who you would cast as her, but I would love to see the storm to Chala relationship. Relationship and the you marriage know, and, and the, the marriage and the then the the tension between them, the tension yeah. between Avengers versus X Men. Yeah. It'll be pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. I wanna see that. I wanna see a good Fantastic Four. Oh, I'm claiming for a good Fantastic Four. But God, see, we've been so we've been so let down. Oh man, there's so much you can do with Fantastic Four. So much that we never. They were, they we were never the original touched. big team. Yeah, you know they were Marvel's yeah. original team. You can't. Uh, the fact that they've been so poorly portrayed. And then just, you have that whole, you know, ah oh, man. And Doctor Doom was such a great villain for him yeah. to just be punked as a villain so many times. Just yeah, yeah. It is a shame. And like I said, nobody, nobody has done Galactus right yet. No, that would be amazing. Well, they didn't do um, hardly any of the villains well. Well, they didn't do it. No, no. I mean, Magneto was probably the best villain they did. Not, yeah, yeah. You know, Sabretooth was terrible. Sabretooth was horrible. Uh, Mystique was good. I give Rebecca Romaine Stamos that. The, her, Mystique, her Mystique was good. But uh, Sabretooth was horrible. Um, Pyro was horrible. Um, Toad was horrible. Yeah. Um, well, um, Juggernaut was horrific. Oh. Like, like Vinny Jones, really? <laughs> Vinny Jones? <laughs> and, like, not that he's bad, but like, come on, man. You, you're telling you're me Juggernaut, man. Yeah, like you're telling me you couldn't get dude from Game of Thrones or anybody just that just big. You gotta be massive. You're yeah. the Juggernaut. You gotta be huge. And they they didn't really give him his due as a villain. No, they 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 like, made him into just like this lackey. Yeah, you like, know. This was this was Xavier's brother who was like un- the reason why he was unstoppable was part of the reason was because he was Xavier's brother, brother and he yeah. knew that was the helmet and the whole deal with that was like this dude was like a beast and like they didn't give him even a portion of that in any of the movies. No, it was it was it was terrible. <laughs> and then um, who else was really? I'm trying to remember. It was really bad. I blocked it out. <laughs> I, 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 lo- I love Kelly Hu, but her death stri- her lady death strike was just not written well. No, nah. you know, nor nor was it like the CG. It just it wasn't done well. And um, even Wolverine, like there was, they did. S- Wolverine was sketchy at, at times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah even the, the most recent one, even was Logan? it was better. Logan was better, I think. But it still was there was some sketchy stuff in there. Yeah, because Fox doesn't know what they're doing. Like there was yeah. the best of the Wolverine standalones, especially. Yeah. Um, well, like, it just some of the I even in the villains in um in first class. Oh my god, I can't believe I sat through that. <laughs> I definitely didn't pay for that. But like, oh my god, this is horrible. Yeah, first class I watched on uh actually no, I went to I went to the movies for first class. Oh my god, I can't believe you did that. I didn't know no I can't, believe, I can't believe you did that. I saw the I saw the trailer for that. I'm like, nope, not gonna be able to do you know it. it Once I saw Havoc was Havoc was on the original squad. I'm like, get that, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. screw you, yeah. Fox. Suck it. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. No. Which all oh, that pissed me off from the beginning because I was like, wait. But when they went and recruited Scott, he acted like he didn't have no idea who this kid was. But yeah. then he was in the, but, but, you, but, but you recruited his younger he brother through the first team. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, and and Darwin. Darwin, really? Yeah. Like, yeah. come on! I, I didn't say I, I didn't say it was a good movie. I just said it was I hot <laughs> garbage. Oh yeah, yeah. It, but, it was. But, so yeah, so if we can get Disney Marvel to recast that universe, we could do. Oh, come on, you get, get give me a good Emma Frost. You know, you give me oh, a good, give me a good a good, good Cyclops, Iceman. a good Iceman, and give me a Cyclops that's truly. That brooding leader that everybody can't stand, that just, just, you know, just grates in you. You know he's right, and that's what yeah. really grates you because you know he's yeah. right. Especially you know. when he's going up against Logan. Yeah, especially when he's standing up against Wolverine. You know, that was just and – you, and you can bring back Jackman if he's up to it, you know. 
I think because people are yeah. so because you're so used to looking. He's got the look, except for being so tall, and we're so used to seeing him that like, okay, I, I I'm okay, I'm I'm okay with it. Um, as much as I like you, Holly Berry, I don't want you back in Storm. He just he, he didn't cut it, you know. He just didn't cut it. She doesn't have. She doesn't have it to me to be Storm. She didn't even. Uh, she didn't even really even have the look. She was. Yeah. No, she was just black. So like, hey, yeah. black girl, Storm. Here you go. Yeah. You know, yeah. She she just didn't have. She it. was riding a wave at the time too. Yeah, she was riding her wave off of you know. You know, swordfish and, and monster ball, ball and, and and Bond movie and and uh, yeah. didn't she do Catwoman around that time too? Yeah, I, I try to forget that. <laughs> Benjamin, any movie with Benjamin Bratt as like the second, you know, star in a movie is not worth watching. Let me put that out there. Yeah. You know, but, so um, I'm, I'm sorry. There's one exception, and that was the wonderful job that the uh, the very lovely Sandra Bullock did. And Miss Geniality. That was the only <laughs> movie and where Benjamin Bratt had a big role in that was actually good. But uh back to Infinity War. Yes, back to I'm sorry, um, I, I digress. I know, I know. It, I gotta keep us on track. Down um, the rabbit hole we go. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> um yeah, man, there's, there's so much in there. I'm excited to see what happens with just everybody, really, because I mean all the movies have left us like what is going on with the Avengers, you know, yeah, we know. like we last, we last saw, you know, last time we saw Cap, he was in prison, right? you know, uh, we just came fresh off of Thor and, and, and Asgard has been destroyed and they're, you know, traveling around the galaxy trying to find home. Then, you know, well, until they find, uh, until they find Dr. Them. Strange and right. they're sitting down with him and trying to find, that whole thing, um, and yeah, man, it's, it's it's you know who knows what's going on with the Hulk. Is he gonna? Is he back? You know, to right. just being Bruce Banner. Is he ever gonna well, go back to being a Hulk? We clearly see he's the Hulk when they're charging down the field there. So right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, but, only, um, the biggest question is how everything with Black Panther will kind of tie. Right. Yeah. That's the one film we haven't seen yet. Well, it looks like it looks like a, a big portion of this, the story is taking place in Wakanda. That's what so, it looks like, you know, because yeah. it looks like just like, like maybe he's hiding Cap there, or I, I don't know. I the from that the from that original that little that little well actually it was like two clips, um, the one. Where they throw the spear at him. Yeah, yeah, well, before that, when he, okay. when he in the shadows and they throw the spear at him, and then he catches it and kind of walks out. And it seems like that's when, you know, T'Challa's like, get him a shield, you know, and lock down the city. So it looks like he might have just showed up um, because the, there is that, the scene where it's Iron, um, uh, Tony Stark. Doctor Strange, Wong, Wong and, and uh, Bruce, yeah. and they're all standing in, in the 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 sanctorum. Yeah, and Tony's holding uh the cell phone. Right, and that's the phone. It they, looks like at least the phone, phone that that, uh, that, that Cap gave him. Yeah, and said call me. So maybe Tony at that moment called him. And, well, see, I think, and I think he's in Wakanda <laughs> because. That's where Bucky, they left Bucky. That's true. That's true. So I think Cat maybe just been hanging in Wakanda. Maybe he's been, the maybe he's there. And um, yeah, man. And then, you know, we finally get to see the full Infinity Gauntlet, full power, all the stones. Yeah. It's good. It's, and I'll, I'll say one thing I did not like was the human skinned um, vision. Vision. I, I don't like that. Yeah. That's, yeah. I don't, I don't like that at all. Uh, part of the beauty of what Wanda and Vision's relationship was, he was an android. He always looked like an android. He never right. met a woman, and she, he, you know, he had a personality. She, she fell in love with him. They right. got married. You yeah. know, like him looking human. I, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, but I think it goes back to you know, it's the Will Smith syndrome again. <laughs> okay, but but the dude that plays him is not like a big star. No, like, but still, like, like, it's like he, he had, you know, he was in Knight's Tale. And 
something else where you play yeah. the bad guy and like that was yeah. like, like but i think that you know like a lot of these characters that we see now it's like they want you know they want them in their skin i don't know if they, they're putting this in their contracts like i want my face you know a certain amount of screen time or whatever I, uh, maybe. But, uh, I it guess. seems like you know like it's, it's just like um you know uh the same thing with like the hulk i mean the hulk gets a lot of screen time though but um yeah. You know, and that was always a contention with Bruce Banner and the Hulk. Bruce never wanted to be the Hulk. Right. They, and they, that was why they always fought. And then he finally embraces it, you know, years down the line. And it just is like, that's when he learns to control it. Right. But, um, yeah, it's just like, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, but I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to see where everybody is now because it's kind of like everybody's been left on a cliffhanger. Right. You know? Iron Man, we you know we he's just kind of in in the shadows since yeah, you know since, the, since, that since disaster of the movie that was <laughs> Iron Man three. Oh yeah, <laughs> and um and then yeah Civil War and then he's kind of just been making his cameos you know Civil War and and he did his little thing in Spider Man, but even that it was always like he you know even in Civil War everything was about him trying to break away right so. You know, yeah. you know, him and so he's separate from anything, separate from Pepper, separate yeah. from, you know, from from Steve. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's true. That's true. In, even Spider Man, it was it was like he was like you know it was like it was almost like he was trying to pass it on to Peter. Right. You know, at the end when he get, he offers and he's like, look, I'm gonna give you the suit and I'm gonna get you know we're gonna hold this press conference and you know like, I'm gonna I'm step it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm basically gonna introduce you as my protege and then you know that. We all know what happens. That's how you get park industries and all that. But um, right. yeah, it, it just seems like everybody was left in this moment of like, even with uh, Spider Man, he he turned down a suit and he's like, oh, I'm, you know, I just want to go back to being a normal kid or whatever. And then he gets sucked back into it like right away. Yeah, right away. Um. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how they start the movie. True. And, and are they gonna? Uh, is it gonna be like? All right, let's kind of recap where everybody is, and then all of a sudden Thanos yeah, shows up. It'll be way too long. <laughs> well, I'm not like, saying you got to do like a full on, you know, uh, exposition of where everybody is, but just kind of like you show Cap and Wakanda, uh, you know. For, nah, I don't even want. Uh, I think you know, be too, I'm afraid there's gonna be too much exposition in this film. Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm afraid. Not. I'm afraid the first not. half of the film is going to be exposition, be all about exposition, and we and we don't. Kind of like, well, that's how Civil War was. Civil War was mostly exposition. Yeah. Well, but the thing is, they mixed. At least they did a good job mixing that exposition with some action, and um, and you know, so that that was like, it wasn't great. It drug it along a little bit, but it was done okay yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting scared like this is gonna be half exposition then they start to do something and then it ends and it's like now i gotta wait another year to actually see what goes down yeah that's well, that's, my, that's my big concern yeah yeah this. nobody wants to see an infinity war too marvel we just want to see infinity war and then move on to whatever phase four is gonna <laughs> is gonna yeah. be oh um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm I, I don't know, you know, I'm not the director. I didn't write the script, so I don't know. But I, I'm curious just to see how they handle that. Me too. You got it. You got to kind of. You, I mean, you can't just really jump into it with Thanos showing up and then it's like, all right, let's just jump into the action. And all of a sudden, everybody's back in there. The Avengers, because clearly, the Avengers is split from Civil right. War. They still they haven't really recovered. They haven't really re- you know regrouped exactly. Yeah, and um. It's clear from, you know, even from Thor and the movies that's happened after that, you know, they're they're all just off doing their own thing. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm just curious to see where everybody, how everybody ends up. And then we got to see that, you know, this week with Black Panther, well, Black how, Panther that how that works out. Tie in. But it's, it's exciting. Tie in. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely very excited for this. Yeah, movie. me look, too. Like I said, when I first saw the first path, I geeked out. I was like, yes, I've been waiting for so <laughs> long to see this. Um, Chris Evans with the beard, yeah, different look, but I'm digging it. And the eye patch. And the eye patch, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it gave me more of the super soldier feel. Yeah. You know, to yeah. it, which I really dig. Yeah, which is cool. Well, and so, it, it shows him kind of, he's, 
he's really now he he's really kind of coming into the cap that we know. Yeah, well, and well, folks don't generally um know him. I mean, know that of him. So, but yeah. I see the uniform and used to see, used to seeing um, right. that look on him. So, you know, so yeah. it's, gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool to see how yeah. it goes. But it, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I can't wait. I, I can't wait. I'm I'm ready. Oh yeah, me too. I'm I'm, I'm hyped. Um, it can't, you know, it can't and like I said, this year is this year is the year for movies, man. I'm I'm excited for everything. Oh yeah, Memorial Day is gonna be lit. Yeah, yeah, we got Memorial Day. We got Black Panther this week. We got um, we got Deadpool. We ain't even talk about that. No, we yeah we. we I wasn't we, on the we, list, we're, but yeah, we're gonna have to talk about that upcoming. We'll yeah, yeah, that for another one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think um, the next few months, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. Well, that is gonna wrap up our show, our pilot of trailer talk. We hope you enjoyed it. Please, you know, leave comments. Let us know what you what trailers that we missed that you may want to talk about, ones that uh, you're excited for. And as always, please like and subscribe. Yeah, and yeah. Subscribe on YouTube. Hit the little bell to get notifications. Uh, on our new videos and always keep uh keep us out on itunes as well you know uh, the original jeep yep. podcast and always you can check us out on facebook and twitter at jeep nation yeah. so uh thank you for listening thank you for watching and if you're audio thank you for listening we love y'all peace peace <laughs>